What's up folks, it's Dave here again from Profitable.Tools and I'm back with another video on WP Social Ninja. Now, if you've missed it, I've already published two other videos dedicated to particular features. The idea here is to make the videos a little bit shorter, right? Rather than covering the entire plugin in one single video, I'm giving you three individual videos so you can focus in on the feature that is most important to you. In this video, I'm gonna be covering social chat, which is a primary feature inside of Social Ninja. If you've missed the other two videos, they covered the other important features of WP Social Ninja, which was how to display content from social media on your website. I'm talking about places like Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. And then the other video I created was how to display reviews on your website. I think that is probably the killer feature for this plugin, although the one I'm about to discuss isn't so bad either. Now, I've kind of jumped the gun a little bit here. If you're not familiar with what WP Social Ninja is, it's a brand new WordPress plugin. And as you might have already presumed, it lets you put stuff from social media onto your WordPress website. It was created by WP Managed Ninja, one of the most solid WP developers over the last few years. You might know them from their other plugins, Fluent Forms, Fluent SMTP, Ninja Tables, and Fluent CRM. All right, let's get into it. This video is gonna be discussing the social chat feature, and I just wanna get started by showing you how it works. So here is a demo. I'm excited to give you this first look at the social chats feature of WP Social Ninja. Let's go ahead and create a new widget here. First thing we need to do is add a channel. So I'll click on add channel here. I can choose between Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and Telegram. I'm gonna start off with Facebook Messenger. And the first thing that wants is my Facebook ID or username. That's just gonna be whatever follows the facebook.com slash section of your Facebook URL. In my case, that's gonna be profitable tool. Let's go ahead and save that. I could add another channel. For example, let's go ahead and add WhatsApp. And there we go, now I've got Facebook Messenger as well as WhatsApp connected. But of course, I'm an American, so I don't actually use WhatsApp, I'm gonna get rid of that. So what we got down here is this little widget guy, right? This little um, bubble in the corner is gonna be the social interaction on our website. So we can go ahead and change the template here. Right now we've got a chat box, which Danny Williams is asking uh, to be your friend. All right, we can get rid of that and have an icon only, and then that simply just pops open a Facebook Messenger uh, window so that all of the chat actually happens over on messenger.com. I think most people are probably going to want to have the chat box because that has more of a on website chat type of feel. And we've got four different templates. We've got general support feedback as well as sales here with some different layouts for each one. We can change the header here right now. So we're seeing Leo. I could have this be, you know, Dave Swift and software reviewer in chief and then I could change the profile picture. All right, there we go. I've got a photo of myself showing up and I've got a nice header section here. Next we can do is change the welcome message. So right now it says, hey, we got a great sale to offer. Channel buttons, display the chat icon. This is gonna hide the little messenger icon right there. I kind of like that gone. We could just say start chat. The bubble text is going to be the text that shows up next to this icon. So first of all, we can change the icon if we want. Let's like say we want the you know kind of traditional little chat bubble. And we could say, hey, need some help. There we go. Uh, kind of big, but uh, otherwise I like it. I can position my bubble in the right, the left, the top left, or the top right. And if you don't want to wait for people to actually click on the chat bubble, you can just have that chat bubble show up so that when someone visits a page, uh, they can obviously kind of have the, the conversation started. The next option is to show online and show offline. So we can choose days of the week that we wanna be available and then set a time schedule here. So if you have open hours, it can show up as being online. So right now it says, I will be back soon. Let's go ahead and change this so that I'm online. And now it just says software reviewer in chief and I've got a nice little green icon next to my ID. All right, now I'm not digging this background color. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that. There, I think that looks a lot better. Uh, everything else looks pretty good, but we can change these colors as well. We can also change the widget background color. So right now it's black. I could change that to be red or orange. That way you can have it fit your branding. All right, let's go ahead and save this template. I wanna rename my widget here. So rather than calling it chats widget, I'll call it uh, messenger sales widget. Let's hit save. Now, unlike the other videos that I made where I demonstrated the social reviews and the social feeds plugins, where we got short codes we could put on individual pages, 
Here we actually tell the plugin exactly where we want the widget to show up. So by default, under settings, it's set to display everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and I'm gonna have it only display on, let's say my about page. This way, people visiting other parts of the website could have a different chatbot show up. Maybe they're looking for support. I can have a support chat uh, bubble pop up. I said chatbot, didn't really mean chatbot. It's more of a live chat interaction, but at least starts the conversation, right? All right, let's go ahead and save this template. Now that I've updated it to only display on the about page, I'm gonna go ahead and visit that about page now. So here I am on the home page, no chat. Let's click on about. And there we go, we've got the chat show up in the upper right hand corner. And because it's terrible looking because I, how I formatted it with the green and the orange, but uh, there it is, it works, works quite well. All right, so that was the demo. Now I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think, what I like about this and what I think still needs work. But before I do that, I do need to disclose that I'm an affiliate for this product, but this is not a sponsored video. I have no business relationship with WP Managed Ninja beyond my affiliate relationship. So my opinions here are genuine. I work for you folks. My goal is only to help you find the best products for your business. I try to be an affiliate for just about everything. So if you wanna help support the channel, I'll try to add links to them down below. All right, let's get started with my review here. So first of all, the idea of putting a chat widget on your website is something that I think a lot of businesses have found to be valuable. And there's a lot of different ways to do it. If you're only going to use something like Facebook Messenger, well, there is a plugin that Facebook puts out. It's on the WordPress repository and you can simply download that, install it, and you'll have the messenger uh, icon show up on your website and people can chat with it. The pros of WP Social Ninja are that you can use multiple platforms and judging by what the developer is saying, they're gonna be adding a lot more platforms. So right now, of course, we have WhatsApp and Telegram along with Facebook. Well, if you could add say six, seven, eight platforms to this, now it's gonna be a lot more beneficial because you'll be able to reach people no matter what social platform they're already on. I know a lot of people are leaving Facebook, right? Because of everything in the world. So they might not want to chat with you over Facebook Messenger if that's the only option you have. So I think, you know, kind of, doubling down and having multiple solutions here is probably a good way to go in the future. I've mentioned it in all of the other videos, but I need to emphasize again that this plugin is really fast. You get that chat widget to load and it doesn't slow down your website at all. And the reason for that is that WP Manage Ninja is really a developer centric company. They're run by a developer. They're very focused on making their code low bloat, highly efficient. And this plugin definitely does not disappoint when it comes to speed. So if you've had issues by using the Facebook WordPress plugin, give this a shot, you might be pleasantly surprised that it really does not slow down your website at all. Nothing you will actually notice. And that's actually what matters, not what any page speed score tells you, although this isn't going to negatively impact those either. Now let's talk about downsides because really no plugin is perfect. And I wanna start off with the most glaringly obvious con, which is there's no way to chat without adding a social platform. That's the point of this plugin. It is called WP Social Ninja, but it would be nice if we could just chat with people right on our WordPress website, right? That would be great. But the problem is that WordPress is just not a good platform for chat. If you think about it, you're not really gonna find any other chat platforms that run on WordPress alone. Sure, there are plugins for chat, but then you log into another infrastructure, a software as a service that is run with the right kind of coding and development structure so that they can do real-time chat. WordPress is just not a good solution for that. It's why you don't do self-hosted chats. So although that's a little disappointing, it would be really nice to be able to log in and chat with everybody on your WordPress website. You're still gonna need a unified place to check your chat. So you'll have to have another piece of software that connects with all of these platforms so you don't have to be running around to Telegram, WhatsApp, Facebook, and whatever else they add down the line. You'll need some kind of unified inbox to grab all of those social messages. So that's definitely the biggest downside that I can think of. If you need this type of product, I think you know the styling and everything is there. It's done really nicely. If you wanna know more about WP Social Ninja, you can stay tuned to this channel. I've got two other videos that I've already published on the other major features of this plugin. So definitely check those out when you get a chance. If you wanna grab a copy of WP Social Ninja, I'll have a link down below. 
I always try to keep it updated with any promo codes or whatever the best deal is at the moment. So go ahead and check out that description uh, and let me know if you have any questions about it. You can also find me on social media. I've got some links below and I've got a free weekly newsletter. You should definitely check out. I never spam you, just send off some helpful information, things I find around the web that I think you might like as well as an entrepreneur or a business owner. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out another one of my videos linked in the corner here. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.